Now we're going to set up a replenishment journey. So you'll come in here, start from scratch. The trigger is made a purchase. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's say that you looked in your analytics and the time delay between order number one and order number two is typically 40 to 45 days. So that's when we we'll want to trigger the replenishment journey here. So what we're going to do is create a time delay for 40 days. And then we're going to branch. So made a purchase. If they've made a purchase at least once in starting this journey, then it is over for them. If they have not, this is when we'll start to communicate the replenishment flow. However, I want to make sure that I am also not including anybody who is an active subscriber. So what we're going to do here is say, OK, since what segment the subscriber is in, and we're going to do subscribers. But what we actually need to do is create that segment first. So we'll go ahead and say subscribers characteristics, shopping tag is equal to active subscriber. That's because any of the subscription platforms on Shopify will add a customer tag to any of your active subscription customers. And the reason why we want to exclude them is because they're already on a subscription. They don't need a replenishment reminder. They're going to get that anyways. And so there's a whole host of other communication touch points that we'll be sending to them. So we want to make sure that we don't muddy the waters between the two. And we'll cover it in a later video as well, the recharge integration with Attentive, so that you can start to build out some of those journeys. Let's go ahead and save this. So again, if the segment is active, recharge customers. We're just going to end that journey. Now we're almost ready. We're going to send a text here with a reminder. So we'll call this punishment journey message one. Here you can see the first name, last name of the subscriber, as well as the product name that came through the purchase event. So what we'll do actually is say something like a first name, it's been almost two months since your last order. And we're sending you a reminder to repurchase X. And then you'll include a link to get them back to the site. Go ahead and save that. And then let's say we want to wait another five days. And this is another place where it's interesting to test as well. So you could do something along the lines of, let's say you don't want to wait 40 days for everybody. What you could do instead here is build that AB test. So what's better, 40 or 45 days? So we'd go ahead and move the 40 days into here. And we would add 45 here and then move this branch into here. And so you pull back and look at it. You can see, okay, great. We're going to A-B test 40 day wait period versus a 45 day wait period. And what we can actually do here is have a branch here. And so you just build out the exact same logic that you see over here. So that way you can differentiate the two. And then make sure to keep them one for one so that you're sending the exact same text to these different cohorts so that there isn't any other variables that you're testing. Otherwise, then 
you'd be conflating the results of a time delay test with different copy that's getting sent to them based on that. So just for the purposes of showcasing to you how to build out this logic again, let's do it. So what action has a subscriber taken? Has made a purchase at least once in starting this journey. That's going to end it for them. Save that. Else, we're going to branch. What segment the subscriber is in. If they are in active recharge customers, which we already went over how to set up, that will end the journey for them as well. And then we will send that text message. And we'll call this replenishment message one, 45 day wait. And the reason why we wanna name it 45 day wait is because we're gonna compare the performance of this one to this one. And then we'll just check, make sure that everything looks good. Looks the exact same on both sides. Else branch segment is active recharge customers. Else branch segment is active recharge customers. We've got texts going out as well. And then we've got a time delay of five minutes here. So we'll go ahead and add that wait, or five days rather. And then we will branch again. If they've made a purchase and starting that journey, it will end for them. And the exact same thing over here. And then you'll send a text. It'll be replenishment message to 40 day wait. And it'll be replenishment message to 45 day wait. And the reason why I keep referencing the wait time is because we want to see which of these uh, texts is performing better. There we go. Now, this doesn't mean that you can't A-B test the actual content of the message itself. So let's say we wanted to do an A-B test on the first message that gets sent. You can still do that. The only difference is that you're going to need to do the exact same on both sides. So let's say the message here is, hey, what's up for replenishment message one, 40 day wait, and we'll call it actually variation B, 40 day wait. And then in your naming over here, you're gonna, say, you're gonna wanna say replenishment message one variation a 40 day wait so that you're keeping track of these things. And then when you come over here to do that AB test, you're going to need to set it up in the exact same way because you don't want to conflate the performance based off of uh, other variables other than the time delay. So we'll drop in the text here. We're going to keep that same naming convention. So this will be message one variation B 45 day wait. And it needs to be the exact same as the one that's going on in the other uh, on the other side of this journey. And then we would take this and we would move that over into here as well. And now we have variation A. You'll need to redo the link. You can't copy the links over. So we'll go ahead and send them to Google purposes of this demo. So now what we have here is a replenishment journey that you made a purchase or AB testing. So 50 50 split between 40 days and 45 days. In each one of these branches, we are taking out people who've made a purchase since beginning this journey. And then we're taking out anybody who is an active subscription customer because we set up a segment that includes anybody who has an active recharge subscription. And the way we're able to do that is by looking at the Shopify tag, which denotes active subscriber. Then 
we are A-B testing the first message that gets sent out to these customers. And we're doing that here and here in the 40 day wait. And we have consistent naming conventions across the entire journey. So that way we're able to track not only the performance of the message test itself, but also the performance of 40 day wait versus 45 day wait. Then again, we're waiting five days in both of them, branching, and if they've made a purchase, ending the journey, if they haven't, then we're gonna send them another text. And then all roads will lead to ending the journey. So that is a replenishment journey. It doesn't have to be this complex and you could even make it more complex if you wanted to, but those should really get you started in a good place for how you could start to build out your own replenishment journey within Attentive.